A splendid occasion took place when the town hall was officially opened on the 6th of June 1860. It was opened by the High Steward for Wokingham, Richard Neville, who was the 4th Baron Braybrook. There was a grand procession from the railway station to the town hall, where speeches and prayers were given at an opening ceremony. In the evening, an introductory ball was held. This main hall was beautifully lit and decorated with flowers. Everyone admired the corporation's paintings and the large mirror, which is still present today, was presented by the recorder. Music and dancing went on with great spirit until four o'clock in the morning. As previously mentioned, the town hall served mainly as a courthouse and a police station, and this lovely hall with its pine hammer beam roof was the courtroom. The magistrate, officials and witnesses entered the courtroom through the door from the witnesses' room, which is now the council chamber, and the prisoners were led up from the cells, up that interior staircase, and through the next door to the annex into the main hall. The magistrate, in all his glory, sat on a low dais with his back to the main fireplace and a wooden barrier rail was inserted across the hall floor to serve as the bar which separated the defendants from the legal representatives and witnesses. The prisoners stood at this bar for trial. Three brass plates are fixed to the floor and they now mark the position of the bar. If you look up into the open timbered roof at the end of the hammer beams you will see painted shields of the coats of arms of the High Stewards of Wokingham. The position of High Steward was one of political patronage dating back to James I Charter of 1612, when prominent figures were given the honorary position to lobby on behalf of a town at court and in Parliament. The first High Steward of Wokingham, Sir Richard Neville, was appointed in 1612, and appointments have continued ever since. This charter, dated 1953, signifies the granting of the coat of arms and seal of Wokingham Borough Council. The interpretation of the arms is a field of acorns on a gold shield which represents Wokingham as a forest town, an ermine chevron which is indicative of the royal house, a Tudor rose which is part of the badge of Queen Elizabeth I and of our present Queen, the crest of a Saxon crown representing the Saxon origin of the district, a Berkshire stag supporting a bishop's crozier, this refers to the ownership of most of the town by the Bishop of Salisbury until 1574 when it became a royal town. And then we have the Wokingham motto, a glandy quercus, which translated means from the acorn, the oak. This ceremonial carved oak chair, which stands beside the main fireplace, is used by the mayor at council meetings when all the councillors are present. The main hall has always served as a community hall when it's not being used for official business or civic occasions. It's now licensed for civil ceremonies and weddings and is frequently hired for dinners, concerts and lectures.